<clears throat> Not suitable for children or sensitive adults. Viewer discretion is advised. Now see here, my good man. I'm not going to pay a lot for this muffler. Read my lips. I'm not going to pay a lot for this muffler. Don't worry. At Meineke, we install quality Everlast mufflers from just $18.93. Installed. Ah, now it is clear. I'm not going to pay a lot for this muffler. You're not going to pay a lot for quality at Meineke. This Halloween something monstrous is coming your way. You can win up to $10,000 instantly. Round Tree's Money Monster Contest. There's a matching win card in every Halloween pack of Coffee Crisp, Marty's Arrow, Kit Kat, and Mirage. Just scratch and then find a match. Round Tree's Money Monster. Pure madness if you know what I mean. I'm Count Scary, and I bought three D glasses for 39 cents from a participating Wendy's old fashioned hamburgers restaurant. Hand me my glasses, not these glasses, Igor. Hand me the scary ones, and oh, they go so good with my fan. Count Scary's 3D Party, Tuesday, July 6th at 8 p.m., only on Channel 4. Oh boy, there should be some wildlife around here. <laughs> The McDonald's Happy Meal, guys. Yep, a Skecker McDonald's. Regular soft drink and regular fries. And they aren't lying. Lion! What do you put in your McDonald's Halloween pumpkins? Boutique McBoo, matey. Carrot Jim and Goblin. Golden McPumpkin, partner. Now you can collect one of three different pumpkins with the purchase of every McDonald's Halloween pumpkin Happy Meal. What you put in them is up to you. It was a Halloween party where fantasies come true. I put on Showtime makeup and did a dance or two. The boys and boos were hanging out like Vamp and Tigress too. My Showtime face was all in place, then Rock Angel, I saw you. It's Showtime, the adult Halloween makeup. Showtime is hypoallergenic, more comfortable than masks, more fun too. You know you are my fantasy, but I can't speak to you. Make up a Halloween fantasy with Showtime makeup. Ooh, I've seen lots of scary things, but nothing gives me nightmares like spooky bed springs. This weekend, treat your family to the best in beds. Water beds from the bedroom at Bewitched Savings. Like kids' water beds from only $159. Waveless Soma beds from $249. And my favorite, Black Lager, just $259. Financing's easy as pie. Ooh, did I say pie? Don't let spring spook your nights. Say big on the best in beds. To Monday only at the bedroom. Daddy's cereal is coming your way. How about a monster for breakfast today? Wanna have your Frankie? Thanks. And how about some wonderful Frankenberry cereal with oodles and oodles of strawberry flavored marshmallows? And Frankenberry is part of this good, nutritious breakfast. Here comes Dal Jocula. Wish you could stay. How about a monster for breakfast today? <laughs> Some people love peanut butter. Some people love chocolate. But the taste they make when you put them together, it's a delicious taste all its own. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Yes, Reese's please. Me too. Rich milk chocolate and creamy peanut butter. You get two great tastes in one candy bar. We say peanut butter cups. <laughs> Toys R Us has the Big Bird Halloween costume and the Yoda Halloween costume for trick or treating. <laughs> All right, I'm here. Let's unplug this thing. I hope you're as spooked as I was with them ghoulish commercials. Just adjusting the sync or scan here. There we go. 
All right, good to see y'all. The climatic chase, Shiro. Everyone else. Uh, we continue here. Let me take this fucking bar off. Sorry, a little burp there. All right, uh, we're playing Splatterhouse Wampaku Graffiti. And yes, it's a late stream. Uh, but it's okay. This is a short game, I believe. Uh, let me swap the composite here. So we're playing on this uh, portable Trinitron. It's just a 9-inch monitor. It's a Japanese import. Running on 12 volts right now. Uh, has composite and RF. RF NTSC, NTSCJ only. Famicom is AV modded. Uh, RF looks pretty good here, but there's no reason to use it if I have an AV modded Famicom. Uh, you know, you could use it, I guess. I have used it before. Just see what it looks like. It's pretty good. Try my best to capture here what I see on screen. I'm going to turn the game, game on here and leave it on the demo. I think I can press start. you will load one pocket graffiti. Now, this here is a translated um, patch, I think. It's on the translated folder. I played this game once. There you go. Just want to let the intro play. Uh, anyways, I played this game once uh, in private. Never played on the channel before. It was a lot of fun. It has a lot of movie references. Uh, it's just, it's a cute little game. It's just getting a pillow here. It's pretty adorable. Uh, yeah, it's uh, from, it's, it belongs to the Splatterhouse franchise, but it's quite different. Uh, as you can see, all the characters are sort of cutesified. They're chibi, yeah, with a big head. Uh, yeah, it's a great game. Uh, I don't, I don't remember being on the harder side for uh, Famicom slash NES game. And yeah, the CRT is very cute. It's very tiny. Here's my hand. It's bigger than it. Uh, yeah, and it's great. Um, I don't have much to say about this game. I just want to get going. It's get going here. It's kind of late, so I might as well uh, get started. I'm in the mood to play the game already. Okay, so I'm gonna get the controller. Now, you turn turn back around, Captain Rubberneck. There we go. Uh, not gonna add a lot of decorations here for Halloween. Uh, just a thing or two. So today we got the Jack O' Lantern. That should be enough. Want to still keep it sort of minimize here to to a minimum the stuff around you know this is modded with uh an nes port out back i'll show it at the end of the playthrough and uh that's it we can uh we can get going here already now it's very cool this is a cool game This will be your grave. <laughs> Ivanovich is here. How you doing? Uh, doing all right. My wife is watching this time as well. Okay. Uh, yeah. No, I, I'm sure it'll be. <laughs> Look at him looking around. So it's a very cool game. So jump and attack. That's that's about it. So you want to chop. There's a lot of references. Uh, if there's sometimes younger people in the chat, they might not know what they are. 
I'll try my best to, if I know the references you mentioned here, what they are. <laughs> it controls well. It's a bit of a floaty jump, but it, it ain't bad. Oh, shit, the head came out. So I have a health bar. I, I think it increases later now. If I'm going to remember anything... Oh, fuck. If I should remember anything a bit difficult about this game would be the mouse. There's a mouse or a rat, and it blows a uh, wind towards you. There we go. Oh, god damn, the cannon disappears quickly. Now, the floating heads were a problem on the original Splatter House. There's an enemy who kill you, punch him a bunch of times, and uh, his head comes off floating around. There we go. And this will be Michael Jackson, obviously. <laughs> I love this little game, man. <laughs> okay, he's gonna throw stuff at us. Just concentrate. Ah, damn it. Holy shit, I'm going bad here. Wait a minute. Hold a mo. Fucking not paying attention. I keep looking at the guy. I can't. I, he, he's got power over me. No, we we'll, we'll start from new. Sorry about that. Fanovich says I'm all right, and you doing good? Doing good. We, we can skip that. Sorry about that. Per pretend this never happened. <laughs> I was really. Uh, I don't know why I got distracted there looking at the the Michael Jackson guy. Now there's a hack that actually replaces him the sprite of that little Dracula guy with with Michael Jackson. Somebody actually went through the trouble of doing that. I find it amazing people those, those little even if it's a tiny hack, you know, but it's pretty cool. There we go. I'm gonna be more careful now. Sorry about that, I've been a bit distracted here. I don't know why. So with this old game, just pay attention now. Look at this. When I'm paying attention, I'm fucking around. I don't know why in the hell I started so distracted. It happens. There we go. Just pay, pay attention here and be fine. Yeah, sometimes I'm just like, I space out when I'm playing a game. I don't know why. Ah, fuck off. There we go. We're here again. Just took one hit. It's so cool, this bit. Pay a bit more attention here. So just keep your distance from... Oh, fuck. Okay, be careful with the spawn in here. That's a problem. Oh, damn it. No. Come on, dude. Fuck! Oh, man. So it's, not, it's not lack of attention. It's actually a bit hard. Uh, there's no reason to continue here. You're gonna need your continues. So if you're down the first stage... Fort Max says it's a unique monitor. It's tiny, very tiny. It has a 9-inch. There is an equivalent in America. Uh, I'll probably... When I do it on YouTube, I'll put the uh, American equivalent. There's one that looks almost the same. Just about everything the same. Very small differences. This will be your grave. Ha ha ha. It's a very cool little monitor. Now, you might notice the label, the Trinitron label, is a bit roughed up. So what happened when I bought this monitor, it was a rebadge. Re so they added some, uh, as a company called Lesage, I I'm not sure what they do. So some, probably some Japanese company, I'm not really sure. 
and they added their own logo and super glue to the uh, Trinitron and that of course I yanked that out I want to play a Trinitron not a little massage so because it's super glue it was kind of fucked and it caused uh, it left residue peel bits of the logo out it's kind of a shit show but you know you can't see it now as a Trinitron it's too bad they, they felt the need to do that but Marking, marketing, I guess, for marketing purposes. Not sure. I actually couldn't find any information on the company Lesage, although I found another a picture of another monitor, uh, the same one here that had the same thing done to it. There we go. Something was meant for medical use or so. I can't. I can't remember if his. If his. Yeah, I gotta see if he was uh, marketed as a PVM in America. I don't think so, but there's some PVMs that look like this, yeah. But I, I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think so. I think a, because it has RF, so it's a TV, not really a monitor. But it could have been a TV that they use, you know, in there. I really would like to know what Lesage is. What is that company? I think I'm gonna come up with a oh, strategy here. Be away from him. There we go and try to avoid being in the middle here when he's doing this shit. There we go. I guess, ah, oh, and pay attention, that's... Holy sh... Oh, there's one problem with this game. Yeah, I forgot, now it's coming back to me. Uh, invincibility, invincibility frames, what's that? Fuck! So, you take hit after hit, there we go, we got it all, but... Okay, it's a bit harder than I remember it here, so we'll see. There you go. We're getting candy here. Hold the burger. What the fuck are you doing? You go, so this here is kind of like uh, Evil Dead. The, the cabin. <laughs> it is satisfying. Now, there's uh, two secret levels here. And I, I do know how to get to them. So we will try our best to see everything. There's references references to the fly here. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. All kinds of stuff. Give me the burger, bit. Fuck. Yeah, it's tough. Damn. Splatter House, Epic Prawn is here, says it's appropriate for a spooky season. It sure is. Uh, if I use a continue... No, don't use a continue, dude. Okay, let me see. If I use a continue... This is too early to use continue, though. Let me see. Yeah, okay. It has limited continues. I would have preferred not to use it this early, but hey, we, we got time. Fuck you. Get out of here! Damn it. There's a lot of bosses here in this game. There you go. Trying to get the burger. Fuck you. Once the, once the things start hitting you, though, they... There we go. That's it. It's a very... Look at this. The Exorcist. Focus on the head. Shit. Come on. Shit, I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit too many times. Fuck her up. There we go. I love this. Big garbage. Obsessful. Ha ha ha. Password. Ah, oh, shit. 1055. Uh, I should write those down, huh? 
Didn't expect to have to write down stuff, passwords, but let me let me write that down somewhere. I think I have a oh, there you go. There's a pen here. God damn it, of course I don't have my little book here. Piece of shit. I was helping a guy yesterday, actually. Got to write on toilet paper? Are you kidding me? So I want to reduce you here. Ten. Ah, oh, I can't. I can't. I don't have a keyboard here. Uh. Oh, sorry. I'm going to catch up with the chat here. Uh. From yesterday, Chucky, Chuck, Chuck Kochi. Thank you for following. Stormbring 3R77. And right now, Tarsus Shadow and Pack Rat 1977. Thank you very much for for following me here. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the stream and I said it. Looks like you do. Tar tar Tarsus Shadow already commented here, said this is cool. Very nice stream. Thank you. Kappa Cow, first time chat. Yo, dude, how goes it? And Ash is here. Bonaset Ash, uh, my favorite NES, the Japanese Famicom. And Pack Rat says, nice CRT and very good focus. As best as I can, uh, is actually, it has to be slightly in, damn it, did I, a little bit too close. There we go. That's the, that's the stuff. I have to go a tiny bit out of focus in order to, uh, to avoid the more red pattern that shows up on every recording CRTs. I'm struggling here to find a piece of paper so I can write passwords. And I, I don't have paper, so I guess I'm fucked. I can't type on the keyboard here. I have no typing mechanism. Happy process 1055 will remember. Thank you. I appreciate it. This is the one with the with the with the rat here. And thank you very much for the comment, pack rat, Kappa Cow, everyone. Right on your arm. I don't want to do that. It's a pain in the ass to get it out. <laughs> There's an idea, I reckon. By the way, is the camera slot tilted or did the background tilt? I tilted the background. I had a fit of rage and slammed the, the, the table and the whole shed collapsed. No, of course not. Okay. Uh, let's take care. Let's. Okay. Is the fucking tripod is a pain in the ass sometimes? Okay, there we go. And what now? I hate dealing with this tripod sometimes. There we go. A little bit more sideways here. So there we go. Is that good? We happy, Vincent? Get a bit more closed up here. I reckon we just adjust everything. I hate changing midway, midstream because the, chain, the thumbnails down don't match. And there you go. Thank you, Ivanovich. Th thank you, everyone, for attending to the, uh, it's 1055, the password. Thank you. Uh, notepad ad in the computer. I don't have, I don't have the, the keyboard. Um, let me tell you what's going on here. I have USB ports, not, not enough USB ports. I got another USB hub, and it doesn't work. Um, I had another one laying around here. So I have the microphone, the sound going fr from the game analog and so four ports and the other one is the mouse which i need to click on things and the other the other one is a mystery one i can't remember but i'm sure it's doing something oh the speakers i think so do you know how to open the on-screen keyboard for windows nope no idea uh, I need a better hub. That's all I really need, to be honest. I'm, I need to get a, get a hub. I'm right now. I'm my my stream setup is cesspool of garbage. Ah! No! Oh fuck you know. Yeah, I, I definitely need to work on a few things here. Another thing is that it's very cold here right now. It's extremely cold. Get off my screen. Uh, so I need to, it got very cold here, and I'll need to address that very soon. I'll, I'll play a bit here, and then I'll catch up with the chat. It's another thing, lim being limited to one monitor. I would like to, man, in a perfect world, I'll have the, uh, a monitor. Oh, the boss. Okay. 
Okay, you can't... I need that burger. Give me the damn burger. Oh, rascals. Can I just... Give me that candy. Give me that fucking candy, bitch. It made the screen just for that. Don't need a pause because there's no timing. I might as well get to get some nicotine here and catch up with the chat. Uh, to open on screen keyboard, start and select settings. Keyboard can be used to move around the screen and enter the text. The problem is I ran out of space on the screen, Chase. I really, I like literally, I have no space on the screen now. In fact, I'm run, I ran out of space because I can't. Okay. I think I showed it many times. Basically, I'm, there's too many windows ev everywhere. It's it's fucked. I, I I need to fucking get a second monitor. I really really need to do that. Another CRT, another good drink. Thanks, Ash. But thank you very much for the help. And Epic Prime says I I, I noticed Trinitrons are very popular. Are they excellent quality or something widely available? They're excellent quality. They're not for everyone. There's always one. I prefer this. Well, yeah, most people like the Trinitron. They have a good... Uh, it was a revolutionary when it came out because the Aperture Grill. Uh, more brightness, more contrast uh, because of the way the technology works. Uh, later on, other TV sets caught up, but, you know, there's always the uh, people that don't like Trinitron. They don't like Aperture Grills because you have Aperture Grills, you have a slot mask, you have dot mask. All kinds of different styles of uh, CRTs and the phosphors, how it all works, the grill. So this one has an aperture grill. So there are little bars that go this way, and there's a couple of wires holding them. And sometimes the wires are visible. Some people that don't like trinitrons, they'll say they don't like the wires. And this is all poop here, by the way. The <laughs> we're, we're in the sewers cesspool of garbage and they yes they made it because it's english right so when you play the uh, modern splatter house from well modern from 2010 for me is modern uh one of the walls has be cesspool of garbage so a nod to this game here i saw it and i immediately i was like wow they referenced this uh <laughs> the one pocket graffiti which is fucking awesome Use one on your CRT for a second monitor. Now the problem is getting the computer from here, but I wouldn't do that to be honest. It had to be like a real crappy CRT, if there's such a thing. Uh, I tend to preserve my CRTs for gaming only. Uh, every now and then the odd movie. I think I want to get some CRTs that are like very basic or generic, then I use it for... I have one that is a generic brand. Oh Christ. Okay that I use for watching movies uh, and, and VHS and whatnot. My Trinitrons, the preservation is in me want to keep it for gaming only. I feel bad when I'm playing like, you know, shit of movies on it or something. Oh man, no. Come on! So this is a bit of a problem with the game there. You notice I made one mistake, but I got hit three times because you just, there's no cooling down period. So you, you can't be fuck. oh man. Can't be fucking around here sometimes. I will definitely improve the setup of... Oh, 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 very soon. Obviously, I work on it. Oh, I, God damn it. I do have a thing to say. Uh, you know, I'll say this one time because I don't want to be talking about finances here, but I got my first paycheck from Twitch. And uh, it wasn't too shabby, you know, t tiny money, obviously, but for me it was a, what do you call, a milestone, right? I feel good. Thank you very much for everyone to subscribe, and or if, even if you're not subscribed, you're watching here. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Epic Prom says, I just collect whatever CRTs people are throwing out and getting rid of in garage sales. It's a good strategy. Can get a lot. I tend to get my Trinitrons on the cheaper side. 
uh, but sometimes you can avoid like with the BVMs and shit. I paid a, I paid out the ass for the end. Okay, this is quite tough. You gotta you gotta time ah if you fuck up. Damn it, which is very easy to do. Some of them have a diff oh you fuck. Okay. Damn it, this hard. This is this is the one I told you about. That is kind of tough. Shit. I wish they would still sell them at garage sales, but it's even rare to find a garage sale here. Uh, all my CRTs, uh, I get them from eBay. Nearly all of them. Like 99% of them. And the uh, smaller ones, a lot of them will ship into. I just bought her, not bought her, but bought her if I have to. I passed her to sell her shoe. She really pack it well. There you go. Doing better here. Why can I do better right away? Because you don't know the layout of the stage, you doofus. Okay. Yeah, they're trying to get up there with the... There we go. No, they blow you all the way back. Just you just have to... You have to make it. This guy's the problem! Ah! Cut him in half! And they put the gore and everything in there. That was cool. Get out. What the fuck is this? What now? Welcome to Devil Town. Password. Okay, I think I have to do that now. I thought I had to go inside. Is this a game with a thriller and the zombies? XZS says, uh, yes, that's the one. We've just been through that a few minutes ago. It's uh, like a sort of a Michael Jackson feller. 3739, the password, if anybody can take note of that in case I need it, if possible. It's not your job, obviously. So this here reminds me of Haddonfield. So, um, Michael Myers. I didn't need a burger, so I don't, it's kind of a dumb place to have the burger. It's an excellent, ah, oh, fuck. Excellent game because of all the parodies and the humor. It doesn't take itself too seriously. It's a, it's a parody game, right? I love those. Oop. So this is it's just a, a Halloween here, as in the movie. Uh, Haddonfield, yeah, Illinois. There we go. Parody. A lot of parodies here. A lot of uh, I don't know, references, yeah. Oh my goodness, that was a. Uh, that was close. Can I just... Holy shit. Yeah, you take... You take a lot of damage here sometimes. D damn it! Pest! Christ, man. Yeah, a bit... I wish they had added a little bit more of the uh, iframes. What's the problem here? I'm, I'm back where I started. Just with... All my health is gone. Oh, you gotta fall down here. Okay, there we go. Chat. I'll look at the chat in a bit. So this, oh shit. Ooh, candy. So this is like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I would say a reference. Oh shit. Get some. Oh. Made it. Oh, now this is alien. It's very cool. This is a tough one. Ah. Oh, shit. It's a quick motherfucker. Game over again. Catch up with the chat here real quick. If you're watching this on YouTube, I don't want to fuck around, so give me the... 
Are you telling me there's no pause? Oh, there he is. There you go. What the hell is this? What are you doing? Fucking computer. Or as a genre that doesn't take itself too seriously, which is good, yeah. Uh, Fighter Peep says, I, don't, I normally don't like NES graphics, but this game looks nice. Yeah, it does. A very colorful, cool game. Very clean graphics. And thanks for following Sherlock Jr. 24. I appreciate it. Cool little follow animation. Oh, yeah, I added some of that stuff. Uh, I left the, uh, I got the Nintendo, and I changed the jingle every time, depending on, the con depending on the console that I'm playing. I don't think I'll make it the way I'm going here. Uh, not on this turn. Oh. Okay, I wonder, can I kind of cheese, do the old cheese around here? Kind of bit. I think I got it. Nah. No, you can't. You can't. They know. Christ, man. So many of them. The, yeah, I, I do have a problem with the way you take so many hits, you know? Fuck, lady. Keep it up. You just have to keep killing them. Ah! I'm gonna die. Christ! You know? You know? My goodness! It's your fucking many of them. Look at this shit. Ah! <laughs> She's looking back at you. But that fucking annihilated my health. I need candy here. Come on, freaks. Yeah, gotta recover the sails. No. Ugh. Yes, it's, it's it's a bit annoying when it you start taking damages like nonstop. It's a bit fucked. So you might see the rest of the game after all. Shit. Like if you miss the beginning, because it looks like this is gonna be here. Do I go all the way? Oh my god, all the way. This asshole here. Son of a bitch. I, I don't remember being this difficult. Shit. Okay, let's check out some candy here. Got a cesspool of garbage. Very cool. Oh. The church is cool. Those guys are kind of creepy there. Like all the way through at least N64 and definitely PS1 too. PS1 on a, on a flat screen is not for me. I, I think it looks bad. Even a sharp PS1 days right on me don't matter. It just looks so much better on a CRT. I wonder if anyone has made a ROM hack that adds iframe. Seems like it would be a huge quality of life improvement. So yeah, this one could have used the, that. Definitely. Because you do... It's kind of it's not good on that regard. You take a lot of hits. Like one after the other. You should have iframes. You know, most games do. How dare you insult the house of the Lord? Okay, he summons like creatures from of the night. Can do I kill him? Yeah. Give me that candy, bitch. Shit. Ah. Ah. Damn it. Can I, 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 Crazy bitch! Crazy bitch! I'm a fucking goat. Holy shit. Gotcha. 
Get into the regiment. Ah. <gasps> no! There we go. Steal. Kidding me. Get me out of this one horse town, man. I should give us some candy here and there. Yeah, prick. So you just mash the, uh... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, my... You made me miss my candy, son of a bitch! Mm. Damn it. No. Ah! Uh, shit! Get down here. There we go. Ah! Damn it, I got hit. Oh, there you go, the fly, Jeff Goldblum. Nick Spearman went wrong. The flies laughs, I love that movie. Shit. Too many of the. <sighs> Come on, hit. We gotta wait for him to. Oh! Some of the boss kind of challenging here. Oh, fuck him. What are you doing? Ugh. Now, don't go this way. Go inside the pod. Come on, get in there. And that's a secret stage. We're going to Japan. This is a very different one. It's a bonus level. Uh, I found this by myself because I, I just thought when I played the first time, because I just thought the way to go was to go inside a pod. But no, it turns out it's a secret level. And you get the orbs and it extends your... Let's try the middle one. No oh, fuck. And extends your, uh, your ending. You get, yeah, this game has two, two different endings. If you get the two orbs, you get an extension of your ending. And I'll show you something that's very cool. Am I going the right way here? Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh! And good, good to hear you didn't cut yourself there, Mr. Laper. It's never a fun time. Oh, got some candy here, bitch. Climbing on up. Oh. Um. Yes! Paid off. How do I come down here? Can I come? Oh, man. Okay. No goodbye, sir. Get out of here. So we get treated to a dance very soon. Yeah. Nope. Damn, boo. Now, fuck off. How cool is that? Look at this. She dances, and while she's dancing, if you press the button, he farts. <laughs> if you fart too much, though, she'll say, how rude. So I'm going to just fart a couple of times here. All right. <laughs> so you get an orb. <laughs> It's hilarious, a sense of humor. So if you keep farting, she'll say, how rude. She still gives you the orb, but I'll be nice to her. And not fart uh, throughout the whole performance.
There you go. <laughs> she says, welcome to Japan. I will give you a crystal ball. Good luck to you. If you fart a lot, you'll say, how rude. And she'll give you. <laughs> so you got to just press the A, a button to fart throughout the whole show. And then she'll be very embarrassed. And she'll say, <laughs> how rude of you. But you still get the crystal ball. So it's just a little fun bonus there. <laughs> And once again, I uh, just want to bring that up. Uh, Stormbrain 3R77, Chuck Koshi, Tarsus Shadow, Pack Rat 1977, Sherlock Jr. 24. Uh, thank you for following. And thanks, La Shizzle, for subscribing on YouTube once again. Thanks, La Shizzle. I appreciate it. Let's go. Zero seven oh five. So this one I had a problem earlier with the uh, Moari. What's the point of a goddamn burger here, honestly? Like it's the beginning of the stage, because don't they replenish your unless they don't replenish your health. Yeah, here come the, the flying enemies. I like how everything gets cut in half. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Oh no, you don't. I need that shot. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to shoot right away. The shotgun is a lot of fun. There's a bit of a knockback, so beware of that. And it'd be a, a, so this year is is like Crystal Lake, okay? Friday the thirteenth, which we just played yesterday. We played Friday the thirteenth. It was awesome. I actually liked that game a lot, and I came ah, I came out of it. <laughs> I came out of it. The the fuck came out of it liking it. Jesus, man! That's what I'm talking about. So my frames here. Oh. Got shot. The knockback. Got to be careful. Oh my god. Yeah, the meetings. Uh, Ford Max says. Let's see here. The meetings would have been fun. <laughs> talking about shall we make him fart here? Now there's gonna be a Jaws. Get out. A Jaws reference here very soon. I think. Oh no! Oh. Ah! Fucking! Give me the burger. You want to be quick here? Here it comes. Dun 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 dun. Ah! Shoot! Scoundrel! Ah! <laughs> oh shit, come off it. Poppycock. Oh. Man, come on, come on, come on. There we go. We made it. Wasn't too bad. Oh shit. Shit is getting real here. The fuck? Oh! I'm not avoiding the obstacles very well. There we go. The better this shit, man. Er. Fuck! Doing very bad. Can't seem to reach that guy. Got you once, bitch. Er. Alright. Fuck off! No. The prophecy. This is Diamond Camp. Ghost House Password 2509. See if there's anything in the chat. And God damn it, it's cold in here. Just, just think, someone took the time to animate all that. That's adorable. Yeah, Epic Prom says it's a, uh, yeah, pixel art is a lot of work actually to do the frames. Uh, you know, you want to do a little tiny animation is still a lot of work that you need to do. Uh, and you know, and this is highly detailed stuff. So, yeah, I, I, I think it's very cool to see uh, pixel art coming back in video games. 
a lot of uh, indie titles. And now there's a PS1 style graphics resurgence. It's pretty cool. I hope y'all liking the game so far. If you haven't played this game, I strongly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. It's a very, it's a chill game. You know, it's very chill for a friend the ass Famicom, you know. Anyway, we'll proceed here. I make sure I never leave my notebook inside the house again. Gosh darn it. All right. 2509, 2509, 2509. Okay. The woods. <laughs> Okay, the bark makes sense here. So you don't want to get into the woods here, the spikes. Look how cool that is. The, the body comes after you. How in the hell? Fuck you then. I like the sounds here. Like the I don't know if, if it's a reference to anything or if it's just a, just a, a jungle level. Oh, my goodness. Oh, come on, dude. They did good uh, emulating like a sort of a jungle vibe here. There we go. plates away. Can I go down here? No. Oh! Shit, I, I think I, I need to be... need to be quick. There we go. Did take a bit of damage. Oh, there's that panning again! The agony or something? The scream? Supposed to be cursed? Oh! That's... Fr <laughs> that's freaky! What the hell you want? Can I... Can... Oh, can't kill it. Yeah, nice place for the candy to jerk off. Oh my goodness, I'm... Freak. No! Oh, shit. Ah. Oh my god, see, like if you had a bit of invincibility frames here, you could go that way. Uh, okay, so 2509, was that it? 25, I don't, I don't know how. I hope I remember correctly. Oh, thank you. Epic Prime 2509. Let's see where, I think it was just, okay. What are you doing? Yeah, no, let's see what happens. I think it just saves me with the amount of lives that I had there. So if, it's, if you're too tired, you might as well just uh, play better and then just restart the game, I think. Because I think then I would just have a life here, but I don't know if it matters. Thank you very much, uh, Epic Pro. Just got to play a little tiny bit better here than what I've been playing. Ah, fuck! Yeah, not having iframes is a bit, it's a bit fucked sometimes. But the game is not hard though. It's not, it's not too hard. Go 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 go. There we go. Tiny bit better, right? I think. But you know, if you have one live per. Or continued, and it's the same as you know, the same thing. I mean, they have one life, anyways, right? I don't know how to avoid damage on the last jump. Those guys are a bit annoying. Give me that candy bit. Get fucking the candy, man. Okay. Get in. There we go. That was the right thing to do. Back out here again. Gotcha. Oh, fuck. Go, 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 go. Thank you. 
What the hell is that? <laughs> oh my god! Oh! And then I do that. <laughs> And then I do that after. Fucking manage to survive the impossible there by the, by the skin of my teeth and then do that bullshit. Damn it. Go, go, go. What's with the candy here, man? Fuck. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Wait. Doubt. <laughs> I think that would have been a mistake, chopping that one down. Now, if the, the buckets fall on your head, they stay on your head for some reason. Oh! So now this is a werewolf. Frick. <laughs> Damn it. Shit. No, come on. That was a hit. Yeah, so I, I think if you... If you just keep going... Oh, no, you get your containers back? Really? Oh, this game is chill, man. There you go. Yeah, so if you like the NES, but you always get put off by some of the shitty ass sometimes you know I, I like the challenge sometimes sometimes you just want to chill with the game and even though the nes is my favorite console and i think i like it because of this the uh because of that the uh the challenges shit all right uh, fucking hell this guy is fucked uh, fuck fuck that should have been a hit so the password reinstates you, your continues. This is unexpected. I, I thought, no, it would just save your, your continues there. So just play without fear, then, I suppose, if I'm understanding this correctly. So there's a little boy, and it turns into a werewolf. The problem is the fucking projectiles here. And then his unpredictable pattern. He does some... No, fuck! Come on! Come on! Ah, ah, shit. Okay, this is the, the one. Come off. That's the, ah, man. Shit everywhere. Fire at it, dude. <laughs> it's a very cute game. Hell house on the hill. You can't get there. Or password 4090. Happy Crown says, someone probably has all the passwords. Oh, yeah. It's incredible how you look up some very obscure games, right? On game facts and whatnot, like very obscure, and they still have somebody pour all their heart and soul into making a very awesome guide. It's commendable. It's very cool. All right, let's go. 49. And I'll tell you how to get the uh, second orb. Aha, uh -huh, see if you go... You're not gonna make me jump. If you go too early in there. Let's save some of the sh buck shots here. It's <laughs> so cool. I was trying to save some shots, but... Fucking forgot that. That's how they get you. Damn it. First time I played this, I fell for the same fucking old trick. So basically there, they, they know you're going to shoot. Fuck. And you're going to get uh, knocked back and you're going to fall into the hole. <laughs> or you wait there. <laughs> you wait there a bit and the, I didn't expect the bridge to fall. Quick here, can be fucking around. There we go. You 
It's just before the holes. Shit, that's gonna be a one. Ah! Damn it! Well played, game. They. What the? F Is there more? Oh, now I got nothing. There we go. You gotta watch out the knockback. That's. Oh, it's better to take a hit there, I think. Maybe wait a tiny bit. Fuck you, I hit you! Bastard. Urgh. There we go. That's it. That's the that's a stuff. Got him. This game with a candy man. Fuck. Kind of an ass, this guy. Get out. Alright. Yeah, it's a very short and sweet game, but strongly recommended. Oh. The manor. Thank you, Epic Prompt. I'll house. A crowd of monsters. The story will be completed soon. Password 1099. All right. Ah. I like the vibe here. Dude. How in the hell? Oh, I gotta fall down there. Right. Okay, this guy. Don't try to grab him. All you wanna do is just follow him. See, they give you plenty of chance. A secret. Uh, I actually, <laughs> I shit you not, I found out uh, the first time I played because I was here. Like, what the fuck is going on? I was expecting him to turn around. So I just kept doing this here. So I thought, well, let's see how far he goes. And then I'm like, what so if you kill him? Come on, man. Oh, okay, that's it. Okay. So if you oh, if you try to grab him, and then if you wait here and you're like, what? And then I just say, well, fuck this shit. And I think if I recall well, I hope I did it correct. Yeah, that is. That is Egypt. <laughs> one after graphic cards in the distant future, one after taxes, they named the password. <laughs> Look at this stage. I always like the Egyptian stages. Like, uh, you know uh, Super Mario Land? The one in the Game Boy? The Egyptian track fucking slaps is awesome. Ah. Okay, okay, so this stage... I remember now. There's a lot of traps. Basically, it's very cool, actually. So, get that right away. That's fine. So, basically, it's like uh, the curse of the mummy in here. So, it's like uh, every treasure you see will be a trap. So, you want to avoid the treasures. That's it. No, that's not it. I thought I could be clever and get the treasure without paying the cost, but <laughs> it didn't pan out that way. So if you see treasure here, you want to just sort of avoid it. Love the track here. I hope you should, yeah, it's a different place. Shit. Yep, there we go. No, see that candy? It's nonsense, you're gonna fall. Ah, I didn't want to get in there. Fuck! Drop me in. All right, just try again. There we go. Happy Crown says, I really enjoy Super Mario Land 2 growing up. Same here. That's the one I grew up. I actually did not have the first one. 
and finally went back and beat it earlier this year. I'll be playing that game here. The only reason I haven't played it yet is because the Halloween came up, the Halloween stuff, so I'll be playing horror uh, games. Uh, but it was supposed to be the next one in line, actually. Because uh, Jerome, he ain't gonna be here today. He's probably asleep. He requested uh, Warrior Land, so I would play that game first, Super Mario Land 2, to see gold, golden coins. But because, you know, I'm running out of time for Halloween, ah, for Halloween here, I decided to just hurry up and play his request. Fuck. And then uh, just get started with the Halloween games. Ah, oh, fuck, I died. I'm gonna be doing Earthbound Rum Hack for Halloween. What, uh, what does, what does the, uh, Rum Hack entail of that game? I'm not familiar with it. Fuck, why did I do that? I didn't know there was gonna be a continuum there. Fuck! I need a fucking shotgun. Sometimes I wonder, the shotgun sometimes it can cause more damage than, than help. Because of the knockback here, but... It's a fucking shotgun. There we go. It's just a matter of remembering about the knock, knock back and, and then controlling it. Yeah, uh, that's the first time you see Wario, that's true. So it's, it's a shame I played the Wario one first. Ah, fuck! Fuck off! Damn! That guy's... Don't die, or... I don't think that motherfucker dies. Okay, see the machete here is pretty good, that meat flavor. The <laughs> music here is cool. There you go, fuck the candy. It's nonsense, you're gonna just fall there. There we go, you got another sexy dance. Welcome to Egypt. I will give you a crystal ball. Good luck to you. Thank you, my lady. Epic Prince says, Sorry to Halloween at Rome Hack. It's a silly little thing, little thing made by Toby Fox, the same guy that later went on to create Undertale. I'm also going into it mostly blind. Oh, that's cool. Is that, so you're going blind into the game as, as in Earthbound the first time, or you're going to be, or the hack? And the hack changes not just graphics, but things related to gameplay. There we go. So we we got that's it. That's all the secrets. We got both of them. Ah. Oh, I'm gonna just check the patterns here. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Think fast. Ah! No! <laughs> I did all that and then shh, took a big, nasty, giant dump here. Right on their backyard. Damn you. Shit, that was an ambush if I ever seen one. Now, I think I remember there's a Coke machine and you can interact with it somehow, if I recall correctly. There we go. Get in there, bud. There you go. The hack you play earthbound. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Get out of here. Ugh. Look at the... Oh, my God. Give me... The vibe of this place is pretty cool, pretty hellish. It's a fun little game. Fucking hell, man. What? Fuck you. That's kind of cool, though. 
didn't expect them to pick me up. <laughs> it's a very cool little game. Oh, not those fellers again. Shit! Some of those motherfucking iframes, man. Oh, I hope you have fun with the heck, uh, Epic Prime. Sounds like a jolly good time. Oh, there we go. Come on, you can do it. Look at that! When I found out you could do that and it replenishes your energy. It's fucking awesome. Little Coke machine. And that's how it works in real life. Whenever you're uh, having trouble, just drink some Coke. It's the final boss. Shit. Fucking, oh, he's invincible. I can't do nothing. Okay, gotcha. You big pussy. Fuck! Come on! The problem when you take a hit is one, two, oh, fucking hell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in a, in a row. Yeah, this is fucked. How many containers I have here? Is that it? One more. Damn it. Fuck! I gotta avoid that shit right away. Okay, that was good. Fuck! It's annoying. Okay, I think I got a, a way to avoid at least the first attack of his. Ah, damn it! Shouldn't have jumped. Oh! Damn it, he's annoying! There we go, that's good. Fucking get off me! It's like fuckers everywhere! I'm gonna die now. Ah! <sighs> Shit. Uh, I think that's it for my continues, right? Okay, what was the password again? Uh, something 90, 70, 90? Let's see if I can scroll up the chat here. 1099. Is that it? 1099? Let's go with that. Yeah, so let's go with that one. And then what? Yeah, I clean the start button here. So I gotta do the hell house again, that's fine. The story will be completed soon. And it's amazing, they give you a continuous bag. That's uh, very unusual. Oh shit, I forgot it. Just need to drop here. Oh, we need to do the Egypt again. Okay. That's it. That's all you have to do. Drop here to get the shotgun. I do like this stage. Who am I waiting on here? Crying out loud. <laughs> the knockback is actually kind of funny. It's very powerful. No. Nah. Damn it. Yeah, they put that little can in there. Go, man, go, go, go in. That's it. Now, see the dance again? It's a pleasure. Not a chore.
readjusting the tripod. All right. Good stuff. So we're back at the final mansion here again. Oh. I did well here in the beginning, then everything went to sh shit. I think it looks like the same pattern. Oh, this one. Okay. Fucking hell, man. It's... We need to start taking hits here, though. Huh? There we go. There we go. Avoided most of them. You die, motherfucker. Ah, coward. Kill, kill him up. Nope, I'm not grabbing me, bitch. Shit. Oh my goodness. Alright. Get him, man. Fuck. At least I didn't take damage. Get in, get in. There we go. I'm hoping to be able to continue. Okay, can I get it? Get this here, look. Get some coke. I should give it that just before the five. It ain't full health, but closing up. Okay, shredded it a little, a little better here. Ah! Pest! Oh, damn it! It's fucking annoying, this guy like feels like he's everywhere! Ugh. Come on, come on, come on, leave me alone! Oh, shit! Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get fucked. No! God, it's an asshole sometimes. Ah! Fuck off. Damn it, die already, you sick of shit. Fuck! Last help. I'm done. No! Oh my god. Okay, come, come. Fuck! Idiot. Oh my god, no. How? Where's my continue? Is it all later? No, okay. Oh, thank god. Okay, so more of a chance here. Okay, that should be it then. Come on. Concentrate. Oh fuck, trying to get out of here. Gotcha. Okay, just trying to. No! Fuck, he's annoying. He's annoying as fuck, this guy. Fuck! Look at this! Oh my god, I hate that. You miss a bit of frames, man. They go a long way. What are you doing? Fuck him up. Now nah, this is fucked. Get out! Fuck! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Jesus! Get off me! Don't come near me! <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Fuck! <laughs> Die, you sack of crap! God damn it! Fuck! I'm in the hits! Ugh. Motherfucker! Ugh. 
Get the fuck out of here! My god! It's a lot of fucking hits! Guess I'll try this again. Got, just got a really study this pattern here. Okay, I'm gonna pay attention, pay fucking attention. <laughs> no! Gavon! Fuck you. Know. Could have avoided that one. Ah, oh, you fuck! Oh my god, get him! God, like if you fuck up there, that, that's it. You take so many fucking hits. Oh no. I'm sick of your shit. Oh my god. I, I would love to know how many f fucking hits this asshole takes. God. Oh my god, no. no fucking get him. Shit. That's it, I'm fucked. Fuck you know. <sighs> Man. Fuck you know. Okay. I'm gonna I, I can't see, I'm gonna repeat that stage, and I He's a bit above the others on that. I don't know how hard he is to beat. Just No man! Fuck! Get you right at the fucking end. Move it, past. Okay. Okay, I think this might be the one. No, oh, fuck you and your big mouth. Fuck! Christ, man, this is... Fucking... Oh. Come on, you prick. <laughs> Come off it. You're done with this one. Your sick games in here. Fuck. <clears throat> Hit him. Ah, uh, no, no! The lack of iframes is a bit disturbing sometimes because it's like fucking how he takes so many hits. Go oh, away, freak. Fucking hell, man. It's so annoying. He spawns on top of you. I'm dead. There's no way. on top of me here, motherfucker. Come on, 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 fuck off. Don't s- uh, uh. Jesus Christ, fucking die- uh. Scoundrel. Nah! Damn it, this is fucking annoying, this guy. Fucking just fuck off already! Let's fucking continue, you kidding me. He ate through all my fucking container. The pro I can't see the problem now. It's not just getting hit by him. It's getting hit by him here. Because then you take a gazillion fucking hits because there's no iframes. Ah, oh, fuck you! Right there. If he spawns on top of you, you fucked this. And there's like a, a gazillion fucking hits. God, you're annoying. This is a pass, this guy. Don't come on top of me, motherfucker. Damn it. No. Uh. Fuck. God, this is annoying. Fucking spawning on top of me now. It's like Dracula on the first castle of Anna's when he spawned. Ah! Pest. Uh. Don't. No, man. What are you doing? Just playing a space there! Ah, fuck off! This 
spun on top of me now that I'm losing control. I'm, oh my god, I lost control. Completely lost control of the situation. Uh, yeah, completely. I knew it! I told you I had to repeat the fucking last level. <sighs> fucking suck my dick. Damn it. It's annoying. God is a pest. Fucking the patterns all over the place. Ugh. Christ. I'm not a fan of repetition. Shut up. Gotta take a hit there no matter what. That's it. <laughs> yeah, got this shit again. Just try to get through it quickly. I don't think I can skip that the last dance there, so you have to just bear with me. And bear witness. Okay. No, man! Fuck! The knockback here is fucking horrific. Jesus fucking lord. God, if I fucking can do the deck, the fucking last boss to call my continuous. Fuck you, bitch. Shut up. The knockback, I don't know, man. I'm beginning to think maybe the shotgun is not such a good idea here. Just fucking go. Get, get in the fucking door. You die, you bastards. <laughs> no! Fuck you! God, the knockback. Persian airs here, say, look at this crazy shit. Don't pack a graffiti, bitch! It's a short and sweet game. You know, having a little trouble here at the end. Got the knockback here. The last boss is too much. Why do they, why they milk the last bosses so much? Like, we got your point, huh? Yeah, we, I, I avoided damage there at least, because you just keep sheep on my damage here. And I don't, how the fuck I avoided, like, damage right there? Shut up. Come on, come, come up here, you fucking freak. I get the candy, I got the candy at least. I gotta just wash it later. Say, so, what the fuck, I probably take 40 hits? That's a lot of fucking hits for that last boss, Jesus. Take it easy. Let's go back to the last mansion here. Again. You see, replenish your health. The game is generous with it. Okay, there's one of those here that's fucking me up. It's not now, but... Fuck you. Fuck off! Is this asshole here? Motherfucker. Okay, go, go, go. Ah. If I stay on the... I, I don't know how to avoid damage here, because I, I can't go... Fuck! Yeah. I 
interesting angle they come at. No candid piece of shit. Look at that thing. Set Evil Dead. Evil Dead reference. Give me that candy. I want candy. Any, any kind will do. Fuck you. Damn. Ugh. Fuck you trying to accomplish here, sir. Aha. Uh -huh. Can I fucking avoid it? Fuck! Get out of here! God damn it! Ugh, this part. Give me the candy. No! My god! Pest! The pain is are past because they turn into fucking laser shit. Hello, one last container to try the last boss, you mother those guys. Oh, I hate you so much. Fuck me. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck off. Get in! Get in! It's so... You have to be so perfectly aligned with the door. It's horrific. Make the fucking hitbox bigger! Christ on a stick, man. Your box is so tiny, like this should be enough. Like make you design a game, make a little bigger here. I love the game, but fuck. Like, I don't like games of that back in the day. Like, so it's all collision boxes, right? And hit boxes and things that trigger. So they make it a very tiny. So if you were to take the mask of the graphics here, if you're very fucking tiny shit, make it big, man. We we're by the door, wanna get in. Look, you can get in here. You have to be here. Like perfectly. If you're a tiny bit this way, you can do it. Alright, enough line in here. This guy. This. Uh. <laughs> okay, come on, come on. Where are you going? Ah! Pest! It's a pestilence. Look at him. Take a hint. Get out of here. Mm. There we go. Don't come on top of me, you fuck. Oh. Nope. Motherfucker. <laughs> That's a lot of hits, buddy. You okay? On top of me? <laughs> Fucking bitch ass! Come on, bitch. Just... Mm. Sex best. <laughs> I like that express. Sex. He's a sex best. Fuck! Get out of here. <laughs> Come off it! Fuck! Fuck! Shit! It was going so well. Past. Past. Absolute fucking past. <laughs> Fuck you, you! Oh my god! The guy's a past. How? I'm in a hits. <laughs> oh fuck! It's a sex past. Stop molesting me, you piece of shit. Inappropriate. Oh my god! It went so well at first, and then everything went to shit. God, this guy is a fucking... <laughs> Get fucked. God damn it, come on. Focus here. Focus, focus. <laughs> miserable fuck. Get off me. Don't come near them. <laughs> fuck! Fuck! Damn it, it just starts piling up. Oh, man. Oh, motherfucker. Fuck off, get off my cock. <laughs> Alright. 
Nah, I'm not dropping here. Come on, don't come near me, you fuck. Fucking, I'm gonna hit you, piece of shit. Fucking cunt. You cunt. Christ. Oh, man, go suck a dick. Right on top of me again, you fucking asshole. Don't come on top of me, bitch. Fuck. Hit the guy, man. What are you doing? Come on, come on. Get, get the pattern. He's coming up. Don't come on top of me. Oh, fucking die already. On top of me again. God, you like getting on top of my fucking junk, huh? My fuck stick. Oh, my God. Oh my god, fucking take a hint, buddy. Holy fucking shit. Oh, come on top of me, bitch. Oh, come on, hit him! What are you what are you fucking doing here? Oh my god, Mr. Fucking Magoo! Holy shit, dude, you're annoying. On top of me again, motherfucker. Ugh. Holy crap! Enough is enough, buddy. Fucking finally.
fuck is this? Am I having a stroke here? No, we done seen this. It's like... Also, just pauses it. I'm not not sure what's happened here. Suki de Gucci. Okay. Oh, it's still going. All right. I'll be quiet then. I never seen a I don't remember this a game over screen that if you press start it just repeats it. it repeats itself and it kind of does pause. Am I in the twilight zone here? <laughs> alright, alright. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh winners don't use drugs, you losers. Listen, stay out of it. <laughs> Okay, this uh, this has been a short one. Uh, if I knew, I, I didn't expect it to be this short, to be honest with you. I remember the game was short, but I don't know. I thought it would be a couple of hours. I mean, if I do the hardware showcase that we usually do here, it'll be a couple of hours anyways. Uh, I, I reckon I could play something else, but kind of kind of staying with the plan here with the Halloween. Uh I never had a stream this short. I think the shortest stream I had was three hours. Is that offensive uh, to viewers if you have a short stream or does it have to be? I'm not sure of the etiquette here. Because, you know, people come watch and, uh, you know, and then they just play for what, an hour and 40 minutes. Not sure how it works here, if it's awkward. I'm I'm new to the streaming game, you know. Somebody, somebody in the chat, tell me if that's. Mr. Leifer says I feel offended for Mike being good for once. Nice bait. <laughs> you wouldn't survive an NES. I'm not taking a bait, Mr. Leifer. Thank you for the compliment, even though if it's backhanded, offhanded remarks. Not, not really if you want to stay with a one game per stream do that I do prefer one once one game per stream is there any other Halloween themed games in the Famicom or something that effect if you want to look it up I'm, I'm open-minded to look at it uh, it's just it is late here I did start late it is fucking cold here I tell you that much look not if you can see it but it's like I'm vaping here all the time yeah, I do, because uh, I like to, I like put them on YouTube. I'll tell you what I do in the future. I'm going to pay attention to this uh, if a game is too short. What I'll do is I have another console lined up, right? And just end the stream, swap the consoles real quick, and play a different game that is also short or whatever, you know? Jackal and Hyde? Fuck no. God, that game is atrocious. Did it even come out? No, it did come out in Japan. Oh, and get this, the Japanese version is harder more insane. I don't know what it is exactly that is harder about the Japanese version, but can you imagine? The worst kind of hell. There's some games that are bad that I'll play here eventually, uh, especially on more obscure systems. But Jackal, Dr. Jackal, Mr. Hyde, I played it before. It's, it's, it's trash. It's horrible. I, it, that's a, that's a very bad game. You have, uh, you have games that are like, ah, I like movies, I saw bad is good, but then you just have bad. And I, I can't find it. I saw Mike Matei playing it the other day. I think I think it was randomly. God, that's uh, a shit ton, a shitload of fuck. <laughs> that is a... Some games are not worth the attention. That's, that's one. I think that game got too much attention. That's a game that's famous just for being ass. It's it's a horrible game. I play it like you can't hit anything. It's fucking horrible. You kill a bee, it, it, and even that is, is is fucking horrific. You know, I don't know. I'll play some bad games here, but Doctor Jack or Mister Hyde. <laughs> That's I know the game, so 
Because who was it? Oh, somebody the other day went on my YouTube <laughs> a few months ago, a couple of months ago, I think. He said, oh, you should play uh, Trollin', obviously. He wanted me to play it, obviously. But he's like, you should play The Wizard of Oz on the Super Nintendo. It's actually not a bad game. I'm like, what are you, ta- <laughs> what are you talking about? That game is fucking trash. It is horrible. I watched the whole Mike Matei stream, so I know the game is horrible. Kudos for that guy. He has a perseverance to beat that fucking game. I don't think I have it in me to play that motherfucking game, man. <laughs> uh, Persian Air says, thanks, AVGN. Yeah, that's from him. Shit, shit load of, what a shit load of, well, God damn it, the old AVGN is so good, you know. I still, I can still watch it. What do you want about the times change? What do you want about the times change? Well, no, we all have we all have watches and clocks, but now just keep your content the way it was. What's, what's the problem here? Everyone got to change everything. I never change in this motherfucking shit here. It's gonna be the same. You know, I don't care how many subs or I don't care none. Why change? You know, let's say I get a lot of subs and followers and whatnot, right? Swimming in money and bitches here, right? Fucking, uh, yeah. just contemplating life in my yacht, and find out somebody says, "Oh, nice boat." I said, "It's not a boat; it's a yacht." But and then I'm thinking, what got me here? And then I go, you know what? I'm gonna change everything. I'm gonna dump everything in the fucking toilet, flush it down, and come up with a new content that that appeals to no one. I don't, I don't understand the mentality. It's insane. All right, going to work, Persian Air. Have a great rest of the stream. Thank you, buddy. And I uh, hope you uh, you have a good good day at work. Yeah. And big breasted girls in a hot tub. That's all over Twitch, isn't it? You keep recommending that shit to me. I'm not interested in that. You know. I'm not a Simpson. Get it? Because they banned the word Simpson. You know, together with the Intels. And what's the other one? You know. Definitely not a Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta use code. What what is the world coming to? We gotta be pussyfooting around everything. Can't believe they banned those. Well, I know why they banned it, but it is it's their platform. You know what can I tell you, Uncle Rick? You know I never watched Napoleon Dynamite, and I don't like it. Uh, one of my exes loved that movie, and I watch, try to watch, and I was like, I I don't get it. I don't get that movie. I, I really don't. I get weird movies, but I, that one I just don't get it. You know, I, a lot of people like it. I was just like, the fuck is all this? I'm not, I no, not even a smirk, you know? I don't know. Sarcastic Ball World, uh, now that one I know the reference. Shira says you could play the game again. If there was a hack for it that did something, is there? Is there a hack that, I think it's just graphics. Cause I, I do look at hacks when I go play a game, improvement hacks, especially. Uh, Cause you know, it's the point of having a flash card. Uh, but I think this one, there's a hack that changes the little vampire guy here on this here stage to actual Michael Jackson, Thriller Michael Jackson. Mm, I can't remember what else. But there's a, there's other shit that they do, but it's all... Because you have hacks, you have, you have, you know, sprite swap hacks, graphics, which can be good, you know, it can improve a game, but... I'm, I'm usually interested in the, the, the ones that change the mechanics of the game completely. I, I'm also interested in hacks that do it like on uh, on the same system so like not getting the game and putting on pc i thought those can be interesting too i'm warming up to that sarcastic ball world i like the sarcastic ball episode south park is another one you should be so good for me and now it's dead I, I stopped watching ages ago like the integrity farm what is what is funny about integrity farms about the whole thing i don't get the joke i'm not in it and I'm, I'm not down with it you know I don't get the, the new jokes. I don't get the uh, continuation. Like, it should be like every week they get into a bunch of shenanigans and then the next week is all forgotten and on, on to a new adventure, you know? But it got to this fucking plot and the plot is shit. I don't know. Shira says, I don't know much about game hacks, so I don't know how to filter good from bad stuff and stuff. Yeah, sometimes the best place is uh, rumhacking.com or something because they have uh, reviews. But sometimes the reviewers are full of shit. Yeah, I've seen very good hacks, but usually they're on point. You know, right on the money. So if you go to rum hacking, most most rum hacks, not all of them, but most of them are, are reside in there too. They usually tend to, but it's the biggest website there is for for rum hacks that I know of. 
And uh, so just go down to the reviews and you'll see a lot of reviews. People tend to take their time to write what's wrong when, when they have a, a negative review of sun, you know? Yeah. I think, I think I'll try to get my ass to bed earlier t tonight, fellers, and tomorrow pick a more substan substantial game for a longer stream and start earlier. Uh, me and my wife is going to help me tomorrow. We're going to try to cover some of the floor and the shack. There's a, lo there's a lot of gaps, right? And uh, put a curtain in here. Uh, and, yeah, a couple of curtains so I can put the heater on before I can um, use insulation because it's like uh, it's like the ending of the thing here right now you know but except I don't have a bottle of JMB which I would really really like to have I haven't had a whiskey last time I had a whiskey was here on the channel on the last whatever video was stream that I had it um, I have some games written down here let me see Seal up tight and use a kerosene heater. That's probably the best advice I've heard in a while. You should definitely look into, into doing that. 100%. Now there's people that die with a fucking generator. I have a two-stroke generator here. I have a four-stroke. I have two of them. Because I usually leave off the grid. Uh, believe it or not. Tough, tough, tough racket. Uh, but can you imagine that, like, they have hurricanes and tornadoes and people, uh, some people die because they just, uh, turn it on inside? <laughs> it's, it's fucked, you know? Just take your computer to the shed, you don't need a heater anymore, then. The probably the fucking thing will freeze here. I left the TV here once, uh, and it just, it, I had a real hard time. It was my 25-inch Trinitron. Had a real hard time bringing that back to life because it was just, it was here in the cold. It wasn't wrapped up. So yeah. Here's the games I'm looking at. I read some because I'm trying to do different consoles. So I'm looking at, I'm not going to have time to play all of them because I started too late with the Halloween stuff. But I'm looking at uh, any, uh, Atari 2600 Halloween, NES Monster Party. Famicom Splatterhouse on Pocket Graffiti done. Famicom Disk System uh, Alien Shoe is an unreleased, uh, but it's not a prototype. It looks like it's done. Master System Vampire Master of Darkness. Sega Genesis Splatterhouse Shoe. PC Engine, I put Splatterhouse Chrome question mark. Splatterhouse Chrome is the only uh, hack of Splatterhouse. It is horrifically hard. I beat it once. It... <laughs> It's, wow, it's tough. You're like, uh, Super Famicom, not sure how to pronounce it, Japanese one, because when I play Super Famicom, I tend to play the Japanese ones. Majuo, Majuo, it's Japanese. It's M-A-J-U with a, like a dash on top and O with a dash on top. So apparently it's a game that gets very expensive. Clock Tower, a special hack of it. Uh, that doesn't change much, but adds mouse support. I can actually sit here and play Clock Tower, which I never played before. So I know there'll be the geniuses in the comments saying, you didn't do well. Okay, whatever. So, mouse support, as it should have been. Uh, I'm looking at Sega CD, Dracula Unleashed. Saturn, The House of the Dead. I find that game very difficult. The, the difficult, the, the House of the Dead. I, I did not make a lot of progress there. Uh, nowhere near the ending, you know. Uh, N64, Resident Evil 2. Dreamcast, The House of the Dead 2. GameCube, Luigi's Mansion. Wii, Colin. Wii U, Zombie U. Stupid ass names, man. Uh, Nintendo Switch, Slain, Back from Hell. PlayStation 1, Evil Evil Dead, Hail to the King, played that once, it was pretty cool. PlayStation 2, Silent Hill 2, Xbox, The Thing, Banana Rama should like this one. PC Engine CD-ROM, nah, I'm not sure if I'm going to fuck with that, but I'm not going to have time to play all of those, because there's only so many days left until uh, Halloween. And then Halloween, if everything goes as planned, uh... I will do a, a, a play a play a movie here. 
play a movie out of a PlayStation VCD. Uh, public domain, Night of the Living Dead. Now, I don't want to be doing commentary, so it'll be, it'll be on my day off, it'll be an extra thing, right? So I don't want to be doing commentary, because who in the fuck wants to watch a movie with somebody jibber-jabbering on? Tell me, I don't. So I'll leave the commentary with uh, Joe Bob Briggs. I found a version of the movie because it's public domain, even though Twitch will mute the VOD. Trust me, they they just find a way, even though it's 100% public domain. Uh, but I'll put it on YouTube later on anyways. I'll, I'll record the audio separately. Uh, I'm not doing Fatal Frame. Uh, it's an excellent game, but it's too much for me right now. I have to think about about that. You know, I... Yeah, that, that game gets to me. Uh, I find it too scary. I'm scared of... I'm 100% scared of Fate of Rain. Something about Japanese horror, like The Grudge, I, I just find it terrifying. Yeah? Uh, you know, it's just... I don't think I can find anything like in, in real life that will scare me like uh, Fate of Rain. It's just a, a sense of dread. of complete, It drains me physically, that game. You know? And not the good kind of draining you physically. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> Mr. Leifer, just want to see Mike scared. Ah, uh, it's more, uh, it's more of an internal thing. So I'll just, I feel, I play that game. I'm sweating. I'm, I just know. I just, it just gets to me, man. That's the one game that gets me. I can't think of any other game. And don't tell me about fucking amnesia. I don't like that game, and it's not scary to me. It's just dumb. Okay? Here comes the dislikes. Whatever. You know, I, I don't like it because everybody goes amnesia, but it's, it's not, not for me. Fate of Frame is. I mean, easier is not. I didn't try to play until now, so I can't really say you're a chicken or something. It, it's all about the taste. Eh? Uh, I watch the grudge gets to me. I find the grudge very scary. Uh, I watch some of the more obscure Japanese sequels that they didn't have an American version for it. Uh, and uh, the ending of one of them like got me thinking about like you know when you see something really fucked up and you think about it for a few days uh and that's the ending for me and then i went to look up the ending and some other folks were ridiculing it. they thought it was dumb so there you go that's taste for you yeah what might scare you might not scare some and vice versa you know when i was young i watched some fucked up shit online that desensitize me but not for fate or friend. I don't fucking watch garbage like that now. so when you're young and the internet is new you watch a lot of crap you know and you fall for a lot of shit I never fell for the two girls in the one cup thing never watched that video I have no interest in watching that uh, there's the old lemon party uh, the old meat spin meat spin remember that one that's like some old G shit uh, goatsy of course the old classic this, that shit that you see and it stays in your mind, definitely. I don't think I can ever unsee Goatsy, unfortunately. It's that sort of thing. CRT, is the Grudge movie on Netflix? Do I look like somebody who has motherfucking Netflix? I never had that shit. I don't, not, I don't have any streaming services. I uh, torn the fuck out of everything and goes on my hard drive. That's, that's my... Somebody once, a friend of mine, said, I have Dis the Disney Channel for free. Like, I can give you, I don't know what extension, I don't know what it was. I said, no thanks. Uh, not even for free. If you paid me, I still wouldn't have it. I don't have any interest in Netflix, any, any streaming services, smartphones, none of those things interest me. Especially streaming. I don't like streaming anything. I stream, but I, I ain't buying, paying for streaming. Can get it for free, all those movies. And it's uh, Ju On, yeah, that's correct. You have the Ju On uh, movies, it will be the uh, the original Japanese, and you have one, two, three, the uh, Grudge American, which is also very good and scary. They did very well. It is not crap like Quarantine or some shit like that. They did with the movie Rack, right? The Spanish movie originally. Shot for shot remake for somebody who can't read subtitles, I guess. Uh, the Juon and the Grudge are very good, but the new, the newer Grudge they came up with, I don't know, what that, that was a cinematographic abortion. It was horrible, it was disgusting and terrible. I was angry at the end of the movie, I hated it. Uh, 
but Juan, uh, Juan, that's the one, Shiro. Uh, you might not find scary. I found it fucking terrifying. Uh, the grudge is the one thing that really. Something about Japanese. One of my cousins told me. Oh, I noticed that you 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 get Japanese horror stuff gets to me in a ways. Western. I can I can think of. When I was a kid, yeah, Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Chucky scared me, but as a grown-ass man, I would say only The Grudge. Uh, the Ring, uh, to a certain extent, but not not as much. Uh, and every now and then I watch some... I find the Asian horror movies. There's some movies from out of Hong Kong. The Eye is a good one. Uh, I find their horror to be scarier. But there are many classic movies on D+, Sensor Modified, with warning labels for modern audiences. What is this plus? Yeah, I don't want I have no interest in Disney Plus. Yeah, that's what it was. This, the Disney Plus. I, like, I, I, why would I want that shit here in my house? I don't, want, I don't want anything to do with them. No, no fucking way. What did Chase say? Something here? I want to see a fader for, for frame playthrough. You won't. Medieval is a request uh, for the PS1, so that that's being considered as well. You might I might play that instead of uh, Evil Dead because I can always play Evil Dead later. There's a chance you go play Fatal Frame and your body will feel nothing. Just saying, just because it's scary to me, is, it doesn't mean it's going to be scary to you. I don't think so. Yeah, you might be, and some other people think it's scary. Play something else that at least a bit hard nip. You played scary games before, Mr. Lefford. Pretty sure. Yeah, everyone is there. You might not find it scary. That's what I'm saying here. Okay. Oh. Well, I might as well show the... Uh, did I fuck up here somehow? Did I touch the cartridge or something? No, still working. While, while we're talking here, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up, but I'll, I'll show the hardware first, uh, as I usually do. I'm going to go turn on the light. This is a nice game. I gotta say, I, I think until I either fix this here or, or start streaming earlier because it's horrifically cold here. It is very unpleasant. Uh, I'm almost always a pussy in other scary games. If you beat it, I'll stream my playthrough and beat it. Oh, Chase is talking to Mr. Lefer. All right. I, I, I don't even know about watching. I just, it really gets to me. There's some fucked up shit in that game. Uh, for me, at least, you know. Like I said, you know, I play and feel nothing. I found it. <sighs> it's fucked for me, huh? The sound, man, the sound design of that game. And I heard the second one is even scarier, which I haven't. I just played the first one. Trying to get a close up here to composite. Just composite does the job, man. See, yeah, small small screens are good. You know, I don't I don't mind them. I like the tiny ones, the tiny TV is like shit today. Because when I zoom in here, I can't, you know. And that little tiny refresh rate bar you see there, I can get rid of it. Uh, I'm as close as possible. I'm at 60.1 right now. There we go. You get to see. So is that, is that consumer set? Low TV lines, you know. But not everything needs to be sharp all the time. I mean, I have the fucking... Y'all seen the BVMs and PVMs and whatnot. And I still like good old composite on a consumer. I like it all. I like RF. I, oh, there's the alien lady. Ah, nasty. Ah. I like how she just... See if I can zoom in a tiny bit more. At a certain point here, the focus is just the lenses there. I think this is as close as it gets. And it is written super deformed there. They translated that bit. I thought at first it was Japanese, but it ain't. Rick Taylor. I'll be playing the uh, modern Splatterhouse. I liked it. You know, it wasn't perfect, but I thought it was all right. 
There we go. That's a bit that's as sharp as it gets here. Maybe here we have There you go. See here. Also PS4. I got some games here. There's some like Tormented Souls. I do horror games get you me, Mr. Laper. It's not a, you know, it's not a, it's a good thing if you're like, it's, you know, he's a pussy who gets scared, but imagine, imagine just being jaded by every game, you, you get nothing. It's sad, like sometimes I miss a childlike wonder I had with horror movies like Chucky and stuff, you know? And unfortunately, like, I can think very, I can't even think of a modern Western movie that I thought it was scary. I can say this, the worst movie, one of the worst horror movies i ever seen was The Happening by M. Night Shyamalan. I hated that fucking movie. It embarrassed me. Because, you know how we got that movie such a long time ago? It was one of those red boxes. Like, you go and you... It was my ex. She, she had an account or something. I can't remember if you had, had an account. No, I think she, she paid for it anyways. You go to a red box and you get your fucking DVD out and you bring it back home. All right, and then once you're done, you, you bring it back. You enter your details. That was the thing, you know? And, uh, yeah. Uh, Shiro says, uh, Mike, could you send me some videos and stuff? You told me about packing CRTs. Oh, is that related to the FW900? And of course I will. Uh, I, I know the perfect video. There's one video. You only need to see one video. That's always when I buy a CRT, I send it to the uh, sellers. It's very short to the point, but yeah, and I can send you articles as well. Uh, I'll send you a couple of videos. I'll send you one that is a bit shorter, and uh, it's, it's all about double boxing. It's the best method still. Double boxing fucking slaps, man. It's, it's the way to go for packing CRTs. And a lot of cushioning and reinforcing the boxes. We get a flimsy ass box, you know, then is a, is a problem. I will get the videos and I'll send it to you. I'll probably get one with the uh, retro tech. Uh, he's, he's pretty good on uh, that sort of thing. And, uh, yeah, definitely. So, there's no danger in CRT, shipping CRTs if you pack it well. That's, you know, I, I never had a CRT that got here packed very well that was damaged. Well, I did have one, but th I did have one uh, out of many that I bought. It was a PVM-1270Q from the States. And it arrived here with the side fucked. Uh, but if you, when I got, it's the only time, so it's an, it an exception, right? When I got the box, the guy came here to deliver, I looked at the box, it was horrific. I even joke with a, with a guy, say, has this box been through like a war zone or something? What the fuck is this? Uh, forklift marks, uh, shattered, it was fucked. They, they were really very extra rough with that box. And unfortunately, the guy packed it well, and but they abused it. They fucked. They they went too far, man. You know the the mail carrier, and I did not. I showed the guy the pictures and all, but I, I did not ask him for a refund or cause him any trouble. I said you packed it very well, you did your part, and unfortunately they really they really went nuts on that pack package. I don't know what the fuck happened, but is uh everything else uh, a couple of. TVs I have here that arrived damaged. It was uh, poor packing, always, always poor packaging, just terrible. Some, some, some folks have really like, like I said one time, there was a guy with a uh, put a thin bubble wrap, like shitty ass bubble wrap, like on top of it. That one, one, and on the bottom he put a plywood, and somehow, no, he he put one on the bottom, a box, right? And this is a it's a heavy ass. TV is it's 14 inch, but it has a, is the tr the Trinitron with the VCR, the silver one I use here sometimes. But my very first video, I think, I think that's the one I use. So for for the packing, he he put it inside a box of the appropriate size, but then on the bottom he he got a piece of plywood. He cut it the size, right? So he he did put some effort, but what the fuck? And I, a piece of plywood, a thin one single thin piece of a bubble wrap, okay? And on top, the same thing. And that's it. So somehow, he imagined that the plywood, because the shock, that your tube will be fine. It's usually the, the shells is fucked up. You know, I never heard of a tube breaking. I mean, it's possible. But by, by God, it got to be rough. They're very strong, the tubes on, on CRTs. You, you have no idea. They're very strong. 
So this guy, he just, you know, just pecked like this. And then it gets here. Of course, it was damaged. Not horrifically, thank God. But, you know, it's not going to... A piece of plywood and a thin piece of bubble wrap is not going to protect against shock. It's, it's not going to happen. Because, you know... Uh, she said, thank you. Hope you told me the shipping company. What do you mean? I told you the shipping company? No, I haven't. We haven't established that. Oh, you're talking to... Oh, you're talking to Ford Max. Okay, sorry. Yeah, because I couldn't... I wouldn't understand that. Uh, watch the witch. Uh, I did Fort Max, and I didn't like it. I was disappointed with the movie. I, I just didn't like it. I, You know, I was very excited about the witch because of the, um, the setting. It was like, uh, wow. It's like when the pilgrims just first came to America. Like, you know, it's like they're still English and shit, and there's a whole new, like, it'd be daunting, it'd be scary, right? I don't know, I didn't like the movie. It was just... I just found it to be depressing and boring. It's my, my, my honest opinion with it. I, I didn't like The Witch. Another one I didn't like that people just, you know, come their pants about is Babadook. Didn't like the Babadook. Every now and then I have a movie I didn't like it, but then I think about it and I'm like, no, that, that was actually good. Uh, one, of, one of those things is, is the end of Sopranos. I thought it was a lot of people. I was together with a lot of people that thought it was crap. Just fade to black with a cut you black like what the fuck but now you know that he he died that's and that's how it is it's just black and now i think it's fucking genius but now another one is under the under the skin i think with uh scarlett johansson uh my main gripe with that movie was all the boners i don't want to see boners sorry don't want to see fucking boners man Ah, oh, you're a hypocrite. You want to see tits? Yeah, I want to see tits. I don't want to see bonners. Who the fuck wants to see bonners? What's, what is that about? Uh, but then, besides that, it was awesome, the movie. The part that the guy there, never mind the fucking bonners, but the part the guy's in the, uh, what is it? The, uh, the swimming pool or something. They don't know if they're going down. And then all the meat gets sucked out of them, and there's just skin floating around. And one of them sees the other that happened to the other feather. It was very interesting and uh, interesting premise, you know. And she's uh, she's like, uh, I'm not gonna spoil the movie. It's a good Under the Skin. It's a good movie. Now the other one with Scarlett Johansson and Lucy or something. I don't like that type of movie. That was crap. My wife watched it. I think I watched it. I was next to her. I don't know if I watched it with. Her. I didn't like it. I'm very picky. I'm not. You know I. I might, I'm, I, I'm not even that careful with uh, talking about games if they have, they have problems, because I know the fandom of some games sometimes, like Metal Gear, if you, you know, you badmouth a game, you say this, or they're going to, you know, they get upset. I, I don't care about that. So movies, I'm even harsher on it, because, like, who gives a shit about Hollywood? You know, like, you spare in their feelings all of a sudden. You know? At least a game I can see you grew up with it or something. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, the witch. Uh, I didn't feel it. Not, not. It, I didn't like it. Uh, but it's a good recommendation, though. A lot of people liked it. I can't. I can't sort of see it, but yeah. The Babadook. I thought it was pretentious. I, I didn't like it. I didn't like the Babadook. And I'm never a contrarian. You know, if I like a movie, I like a movie. Okay. Okay. Don't focus here. I'll show you the the little TV around. I think I can turn that off right now. It's very cold here. It's very unpleasant. I need to do something about the shed. I didn't I didn't expect to be so soon, you know. I'll leave the set on. So I showed it before here. Most of the sets I've showed I showed them before. Um see if I can go on the same channel here. But you know, a lot of people haven't seen it, so I I just think I make a point of just always showing them. It's simpler that way. And kind of keeping track of who you show, who you didn't show, and, and all that shit. I can get this little thing here, the little ring. Give an extra light. Uh, so I have that, all the controls there. Shiro translated this for me one time. I saved the picture because it helps, you know, knowing what it is. But usually you just fiddle with it and you'll, you'll kind of know. I think the, the light is a bit too strong here. There we go. There we go, Kimosabi. That's it. Sorry, I'm on full screen, so if you type in something, mind. So there's a handle here. It's just like a freaking GameCube. It's pretty cool. Make sure you're not pulling like with the ports and not, you know. There we go. Fucking 
Yeah, what happened? Oh, that's it. That's the back of it. So I'm using the, the, yeah, I can see it's a little bit, the fuck, can I see if I can, that's it, it's a bit tilted here, there's the back of it, it's very tiny, look at this, tiny, tiny, tiny guy, you know, and you have video in, video out, and UK Retro Gamer, hello mate, thanks for the following. <laughs> I appreciate it. You caught me at the end of a stream. It's a very short stream this time. I apologize, uh, everyone. I I don't know what the fuck I was thinking here. I thought the game would be longer. I knew it was short, but not that short. So but at least we had a little powwow here, a little chat. Uh, that's it. And the other side is just... Uh, uh, just... You know, nothing that special. I'll go back around here. I'll show the top in a bit. I like showing the equipment. There's a, there's a standby. Headphones. How come headphones are not in modern t TVs, huh? Fuck is that about? Put the fucking three and a half millimeter jack back in there, you doofuses. Uh, yeah, there's front. Oh, yeah, so yeah, the things with the labels here, you can see it's a bit fucked. So yeah, it's a shame. It was a pain in the ass to get the thing out of there. And same with the Sony stuff. It's a shame. It's because so, the thing with this, you can repaint it because then you you lose all the lettering, the, the models here. KV nine AD two. Don't be fooled by two two holes. This mono is not stereo. Okay, I opened it. Of course, you clean it up and check it out. UK retro gamer says I smell CRTs, and this one actually does have a, a peculiar smell about it. Uh, with a lovely portable CRT. Thanks, Hoss. Uh, it's a it's a very good tiny CRT, and it, it works perfectly. I bought it. I bought it right here, so I didn't have to actually import it. It was already imported. So yeah, UK retro gamer. That's what I do here all the time. I play on CRTs and kind of record the whole thing. So you'll see my VOD history, and there's links to the YouTube and and, and all that shit. Uh, and I'll be here tomorrow with a, a new game. I play a variety of consoles and. And CRTs, you know, although I, I think I need to slow down with the CRTs for now and I need to concentrate on consoles. I was very shocked the other day. I went on eBay America and uh, I was looking for the price of the Fairchild Channel F. So the Fairchild Channel F, very cool console, uh, a lot of history there. And I found one when, when before I'm pretty sure I had seen a bunch of them. Uh, so things are kind of disappearing. And as a bit, when you collect stuff, you get a bit worried, you know. So I think that for now I have enough CRTs. I just need that FW900. I need to make that happen because then I can play modern games here as well on a CRT without any downgrade or, you know, make a case for the CRTs here for sure. Uh, UK Retro Gamer says, looks like you and I have a few things in common. See, we're not so different, you and I. Yes, absolutely. If you, yeah, I can't see by the name UK Retro Gamer. Now, I'm not an exclusive retro gaming channel, but pretty much uh, most of the things I play are considered retro by now. For me, PS1 onwards, not retro, uh, retro-ish. Um, kind of, I see more of as old. For me, like retro is before that. It's just my own definition. Uh, but I just label everything as retro on the on the streams because why not? Now, so let me. Change the ah fuck off. I don't know what I'm doing here. Sorry, I need to get back a bit because I need to go under the fucking table. That's sick of shit. You. There we go. I have the composite. If you wonder what the hell is going on here, sometimes. There you go. That's all. So this all kind of work sometimes. <laughs> the crap I got to deal with. Uh, no, nah, this is got this is too perfect. <laughs> There's a movie about that. I, I mentioned it here sometimes because UK Retro Gamer says, I'm a French Fortnite streamer. My mother named my channel, she smells like other parents, but it reminds me of the movie uh, Sling Blade. I think it was Chase that watched it. Who watched Sling Blade here? I mentioned, and somebody actually went and watched it. Sorry if I forgot who it was. I got confused sometimes. I'm old. 
but there's a part of that movie that he's talking a bunch of shit to the character, you know, the main character, who's like his man dog that say it was a bit slow. And uh, he says, oh, oh, and he's talking about a guy. He's just going on and on. They say, ah, and I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I told you this, but he was a, a Frenchman who claimed to be an Englishman. And he's like, mm. he's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, where did that come from? A Frenchman who claimed to be an Englishman. OK, so I'm just changing the composite here. Oh, yeah. So what's happening here? So I got the. Uh... Excuse me. Oh, there we go. So this here is the Famicom. It's coming out of the back of the Famicom. And this goes to, uh, you know, to the computer and all that. So, so I'm capturing the sound. It goes to uh, analog to USB. And this one here is going to the back of the TV. And when I want to watch uh, plug in the DVD player, uh, I just, this composite goes all the way back to the DVD player, which is what I use for now, which is right Everything is black these days. The, the fucking appliances. There you go. So this tiny DVD player here, and it has a little USB stick right here. And I just, as long as I convert the files to... Yeah. And there you go. Yeah. And there's a powerful mustache. <laughs> there we go. And, oh yeah, I put the decoration today, uh, the jack-o'-lantern. I hope y'all don't mind I'm trying to keep it the minimum here, but not clutter anything. So that's, uh, yeah, so that's where I'm at with the, uh, fuck, you know, with the, um, what's it called? The, the monitor It's kind of a, it's fucked. This chase, if chase is here, that's what I'm talking about with the space. Like, I, I ran out of space. I ran out of space on, on screen. So I need I need to I need to get a second monitor pronto, and there's the lights, so everything. Sometimes I like showing, and if you wonder what that is, the there's a gap in there, so I just every time I get bubble wrap, I stuff in there, keep the cold out until something more permanent. Fort Max says I see myself. There you are. You're famous now in front of uh, twenty people. You, I don't think it's even that, but there you have it. Uh, okay. Oh, the top of it. That's what it looked like. I always forget the top. That's it. And there's a little handle. It's pretty, pretty useful. Yeah, it's very tiny. If you see, the Famicom is it's very tiny. So you see the size comparison here. Yeah, it's very, very tiny. It's a cute little monitor. It's sure as hell easy to bring it here, you know? Yeah. And the Famicom, take a look at the Famicom here. It's a lot of cables. Just cheap ass jack o' lantern. I have a fancy one that uh, sings and everything. Laugh. <laughs> yeah, it's in the house. Uh, I'm going to organize. God damn it, it's caught in here. Bitch. Okay, a uh, bit of uh, a problem here. Oh, that's the plug being a cunt. Okay, just a minute. That's it. And there's the Famicom. Time for a portable. I have the heater here. So, so I can turn around without some motherfucking camera. Right there. Shut the fuck up. Right there. So, that's, uh, but the problem, see the floor, and I, this ratten is here, right? I, I came here the other day, and I thought, did I step on a motherfucking mouse or something? No, it was a weird-ass piece of paper stuck to the bottom of my shoes, and, uh, I don't paper my shit or some shit, whatever that shit is called, and start just smearing, because it was raining, start smearing this red crap all over the place. Like, what the hell? Where would that come from? You know, at first I thought, oh my god, that stepped on a fucking mouse ear. The mother... <laughs> you know. No, it was just uh, some paper I picked up somewhere. It got stuck to the bottom of my shoe. So there you go. 
<sighs> okay, so Famicom. Mm, looking good, fellas. Yep, uh, Pack Rat 1977 says EverDrive. Uh, it is. This is a basic one. I have it the EverDrive M8 uh, Pro for the NES. But for the Famicom, because I already had the NES. Oh, it was right at the time of the war. I mean, the war is still going. But it was right around the time that Crick's closed his shop, obviously. Having a lot of trouble there. Glad he's okay now. Uh, but then the EverDrive. One of the EverDrives went up for sale on eBay for a past $1,000. That's not a good time to buy EverDrives then. Uh, and I had only this one mission. I had all the, all the rest. I was up to date with all his EverDrives, all of them. I have all of them. Now I don't because I came up with a, a new one, the uh, Turbo EverDrive Pro, right? Uh, this one is the basic. It, does, it doesn't do anything fancy, but it plays all your games pretty much, you know. Um, yeah, I still have the thing here because a lot of times, Famicom, you see this mission here, and this here is a port to. Would you mind, sir? There we go. Uh, for controllers, you get different controllers you can put in here, and I have a few third party controllers. I have even a wireless, like infrared, right? It's not great, not compared to today's controllers. Uh, but still pretty cool by SETA. Uh, in Famicom, you eject by just pushing. I'm not going to eject because it's fine there. Reset, power, no LED mods or anything here. So the mods with this this year console, it's a lot of crap coming out of the back here. Uh, once you hit it big, I look forward to the shed upgrade. The shed is good. I don't think I need... Uh, well, I need to get a bunch of crap out of here uh, for it, Max. A lot of garbage here. I donate a lot of stuff like children's toys and whatnot and insulate the shed. I need to really weatherproof the shed because there's a... And, and the roof, there's a lot of problems here. The roof is leaking. I try my best to patch it up, but I need to really redo the roof completely. There was a storm here one time and took the felt roof off my shed. And I bought a new one and fixed it, but it was never the same. So I started to develop a leaking problem. And I can see stain in the wood. So if I don't do something about it, you know, within a year or so, I'll start... The wood will start to rot, probably. So I, I do need to tend to it. Yeah, but if I hit a big, yeah, that'll be nice, though. I would definitely, uh, you know, I have to do something before winter, because otherwise I'm in big trouble. So one of the mods for this year, and I need a light, just like no matter how many lights I have here. There we go. That's it. So I did this one here. There's no cut. There's no cuts. No cuts were done to the shell. And this is uh, an NES plug. And there you go. And so the Famicom controller that you saw me playing in reality is an NES controller inside the Famicom shell. It's a fake. <laughs> now it's uh, it's the same shit. So I didn't do the second because of the microphone deal. I don't know how if I can keep the keep it. And I'm just playing single player, so I, I guess I stopped caring. So this one has the RFs uh, removed, and I have one with the RF intact. I have a stock, completely stock one. This one has the RF removed for an AV mod. I, I did not do the mod myself. I can mod consoles to an extent, but this one I bought it already this way. And uh, very important though, you got to use, even though it's mono, you have to use that the three pronged, um, you know, three and a half millimeter to composite and two audio. If you, if you do just one, you get a garble image. See, I forgot and I tried to do that. And I was getting a garble image, and I thought I had all sorts of problems with the Famicom, but it was just that 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 was it. So you need to get three. So the yellow, white, and red it expects that. So the modder here made dual mono within his mod. AC adapter. There we go. And if you see me shaking here, just it's, it's very cold here right now. That's all. That's it. Uh, besides that, nothing. Nothing special. Nothing special here. It doesn't have RGB. My NES is RGB modded. And I do have an RGB kit for another front loader. And I'll be doing that. But I'll be doing the... I think... I'll, oh, TV win. Is there a problem here? Okay, what's going on? Oh, man, my life is cables, cables, cables. Oh, and yeah, if you if you want to, why the hell would you want to put an NES controller there? The length, the length of the uh, is hardwired. If you don't know that, uh, the controller on the Famicom 
it's hardwire and this is the length of the cable you, i can actually show you right that that's it that's all you get and the microphone i was talking about this is for people who might not be familiar with the famicom so uh, there's a little microphone just like the wii mote right here and yes you can use it in games most famously the uh zelda zelda game first one to kill paul's voice and they had to change that in america that's why the explanation makes no sense that like they don't like loud sounds so if you scream here you kill a lot of paul's voice says in the room all right there we go Okay, well, managed to stretch it to two hours. Oh, shit. Two hours and a half, so that's not too bad for a stream. Okay. Is there... There we go. So, so yeah, tomorrow, I'm not sure of the game, but I'll pick something. Now, that list that I mentioned is not, you know, binding. I, I might change it, depending on convenience. Now, some games, sometimes, they... It just doesn't work, you know, or sometimes there's something wrong with the hardware, you know, I can't, uh, can't use the hardware, something's wrong with it. I'm having problems with my Atari Jaguar, for example, i got to fix the red collar, it's gone. It's just not producing a red collar, so I don't know what, what what's that about, you know. So things like that. Uh, I do want to play some consoles I haven't played before. Uh, some of the more modern ones, I'm waiting again to get the uh, FW900 to play some of them uh and that'll be a great pleasure to play those uh more modern games as well uh including yeah recommendations too. some people recommend modern games i never played demon souls dark souls and all that i would play that you know uh i'm not adverse to modern gaming uh my ps5 though still remain unused because uh i don't know how to get past the uh i gotta call them up <sighs> sorry burp i drink a lot of coke I have to call them up. Don't mean to be rude here. Sorry about that. Anyways, I, I need to call them up about the uh, the age verification because I can't get past it. I don't know what the fuck do they want from me. Nothing works. I can't scan my face. I can't do none of that shit. So I haven't been able to play my PS5 yet. Not that I haven't. I want to play the Astro, Astrobot Feller. You know, that would have been cool. So, yeah. So, okay, what time is it now? 11, 18 p.m. local time. Okay. Well, uh, I reckon that's it for me then tonight. I appreciate every, everyone being here. Uh, and I'm sorry if the the stream was a bit on the shorter side. Uh, I'll make it, you know, it's rare. Most of my streams, you know, I'll come off it, though. I, I play here for 12 hours, just about many times. Uh, a short stream ain't going to kill you. There you go. Okay, with that, uh, let me see. Is there anybody online that I know, Shiro? Anybody that you have online that you would like to raid or anything like that after after the, the outro here? I don't see anybody. Okay. Well, Cat Crasher is the only fella I know here. He does... Uh, if y'all like vinyl, I can send you it there. He is Swedish, but he speaks very good English, and uh, he does he does vinyl. I'll send you the Cat Crash. Shiro, uh, could you do me a huge favor? I don't want to impose, but after the raid, uh, tell him I won't be able to respond because I need I need to get going. I need to go home. I need to eat. Uh, I need to put my kids to sleep and all that. And I don't have the keyboard here in the shed. If that's okay. I'll send you all to Cat Crasher. He does vinyl. He listens to music and talks. So I don't like it. I'll say in there. You know, what can I tell you? It's just a raid. It's how it works. Sometimes people send me on raids. I go on there and say, well, this is not for me. Uh, thanks, but no. So no problem. Uh, have a good night and see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome for the stream. That was nothing. Sorry, it was a bit on the shorter side, but I do tend to want to keep one game. It's a bit inconvenient for me when it's more than one game. Uh, okay, and I'll pick a game today, take a look at hardware, the hardware, see how everything is, and then uh, I also should tell you goodnight from Leifer. No problem. Thank you very much, and uh, outro goes in, and I go out. And I'll, 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 I'll do the raid right at the end here. As soon as the Indian, if I'm ever doing a raid, here's the thing, after I go out here, I can't respond anymore, I'm not going to talk during the anthem, 
And, uh, and after, very rarely if I had to, if it's an emergency, but once the Indian test, uh, Indian head test pattern comes in, that's when I set up the raid, okay? So if you hang on until the end, if you don't mind. And uh, that's it. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, thank you for being here, for watching, and I'll be seeing you uh, next time.